हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ यू हैव सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल नाउ लेट्स सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम दिस प्रॉब्लम इज बेस्ड ऑन थ्री डी इक्विलिब्रियम प्रॉब्लम सो इन दिस प्रॉब्लम इट इज सेड दैट अ फोर्स पी ऑफ टू हंड्रेड न्यूटन राइट सो दिस फोर्स पी इक्वल्स टू टू हंड्रेड न्यूटन A force P of 200 newton on the handle of the cable reel is required to wind up the underground cable as it comes from the main hole, and the drum diameter is 1000, right? So this drum diameter is 1000 mm, and it is said that for the horizontal position of the crank handle shown, calculate the magnitudes of the bearing forces at A and B. Neglect the weight of the drum, right? So we have to find the reactions at point A and B, and the this is our coordinate system. This is x, y, and z, right? so if we represent those reactions at point a and b so there will be one reaction at this point b and that reaction will be acting in the positive x direction so let me draw that reaction let's say that this reaction is bx right so if i represent it here according to this coordinate system this reaction will be bx and let's say that there is one another reaction and that reaction is acting in the positive y direction at this point b right so this is let's say by reaction right similarly we will have two reactions at point a as well right so if i draw those reaction at point a so let's say that there is one reaction ax which is acting like this and let's say that there is one another reaction at point a which is acting in the upward direction right so let's say that this is this one is ax and this one is ay right and there will be a tension in this cable as well right so now if we uh, look into this whole system from this direction and if we draw the front view uh, free body diagram of this whole system so then we will get this front view this one right so this one is the front view and if we look into this whole system from this direction so then this will be the right side view so this will be our right side view and similarly if we look from the top right so then this will be our top view right if i represent that uh, tension t in this cable so this will be our tension t in this cable right so this is the tension t now to solve this problem first we will consider this right side view and we will apply we will we will apply the equilibrium condition and we will find the summation of moment about the z axis is equals to 0 so in this right side view as we can see that this is the x axis this is the y axis is right so the z axis is, is out of the page right so the z axis is, is out of the page right so now if we apply this equilibrium condition about the z axis so as we can see that this 200 newton force that p force is producing the clockwise moment about this z axis is right which is out of the page so we will write minus and that will be 200 and the perpendicular distance of this 200 newton force from that z axis is from this point is how much so it is 600 so we will multiply this with 600 and as we can see that this tension t in the cable is producing the counter clockwise moment about this uh, z axis so we will write plus this will be t multiplied by the perpendicular distance so the perpendicular distance of this t from this uh, point of rotation is how much so it is 500 mm since we are given that the diameter of the drum is 1000 meters right so we will multiply this with 500 and this will be equal to 0 So from this equation, T equals to two forty newton, right? Now we know the magnitude of this tension T, which is equal to two forty newton. So now, if I resolve this tension T into its components, right? So we will have two components of this tension T. There will be one component which will be acting along the x-axis, right? So this there will be one reaction like this. Uh, one component of this tension t so this one will be t if this angle is 45 so then this angle is also 45 right so this means that this will be t x and t x will be t cos of 45 degrees and similarly there will be one another component which will be acting in the y direction so it will be like this right and this one will be t 
y and this will be t sine of 45 degrees right so now if we consider this uh, front view so in front view we will be only seeing this sign component right and this tx will not be visible right so we will uh, we will only see the tip of this tx right so th that's why it's not visible in this diagram similarly we will be able to see ay by and this p force right all the forces that are parallel to the y axis will be visible right are the are all those forces which are parallel to the z axis they will be visible right otherwise other forces will not be visible in this front view so now and as we can see that in this front view we will be able to see y and z axis so the x axis is here into the page right so this the x axis is now into the page and into the page can be represented by this cross sign right right so now if we apply the summation of moment about the x axis is equals to 0 in this diagram right so now this is that p force right so as we can see that this p force is producing the clockwise moment about this x axis is about this point and the perpendicular distance of this p force from that point b is how much so it is 450 right so this is 300 plus 150 right so overall distance of this p force from that point is how much so it is 450 and it and it is producing the clockwise moment so we will write minus 200 into 450 as we can see that this by force is passing through this point uh, through this uh, x axis so it will not produce the moment about the x axis this t sine of 45 is producing the counterclockwise moment so we will write uh, plus and this will be t so t is 240 and sine of 45 is 0 0.707 so this is t sine of 45 and the perpendicular distance is 1600 right so we will multiply this with 1600 right so this sine component is at a distance of 1600 mm right and now as we can see that this ay reaction is also producing the clockwise moment about this point right so we will write minus and this will be ay and the perpendicular distance of this ay from this point is how much so this is 1200 plus 1600 so this is 2800 right so we will multiply this with 2800 and this whole equation will be equal to zero so this equation will give us ay so ay equals to 64.82 newtons right so this is the reaction at a in the y direction right now if we apply the summation of moment about the y axis is equals to zero right so then we will consider this top view diagram right so in this top view we will be able to see this x axis and this is a z axis right so let's say that this is that x axis is right and we will be able to see this bx and this ax force right and this tx force will be visible right so we will be able to see this cos component right so now if we apply the summation of moment about y axis is and the y axis is in the top view will be from out of the screen right so we can represent that this will be our y axis is right so now if we apply this e equilibrium condition so as we can see that this ax is producing the clockwise moment about this point b so we will write plus ax and the perpendicular distance of this ax from that point is 2800 again so we will multiply this with 2800 similarly this cos component is producing counterclockwise moment so we will write plus t cos of so t is 240 cos of 45 is again 0 0.707 and the perpendicular distance is 1600 mm right so we will multiply this with 1600 and this bx is not producing the moment about this point right about this uh, y axis is right so this will be equal to zero so as we can see that this ax is producing the clockwise moment right so this is not positive this is minus right so now when we solve this so ax equals to 96.96 newtons right now since we know ax and ay so we can find the resultant reaction and uh, the, res the resultant support at point a so if we find the resultant support at point a so then that will be equal to a and this will be a x square plus a y square we will use the pythagoras theorem so then a 
the resultant reaction at A will be equal to, this will be 96.96 square plus 64.82 square. So, we get A equals to 116.6, right, Newton. Now, if we apply the summation of forces along x equals to 0, right, so now if we consider this top view, so in this top view, we are, we are able to see the x axis, the forces along the x axis, is right. So, as we can see that this A x is acting in the positive x direction, so we will write plus A x and A x is 96.96. This is acting in the negative x, so we will write minus T cos of 45, so 2, 40 into 0.707 and this bx is acting in the positive x so we will write plus bx and this will be equal to 0 so this will give us bx i will solve this a bit later right similarly if we apply the summation of forces along y equals to 0 so now in this diagram we can see all those forces which are acting along y axis is right so this ay is acting in the positive y direction and a y magnitude is 64.82 similarly this sine component is acting in the negative y so we will write minus and this will be 240 sine of 45 is again 0 0.707 and this b y is acting in the positive y so we will write plus b y and this 200 newton force is acting in the negative y so we will write minus 200 and this will be equal to 0 when we solve this equation so the reaction at B in the X direction comes out as 72.72 Newton and B Y equals to 304.86 Newton. So, so, we can find the total resultant reaction or support at point B. So, B will be equal to B X square plus B Y square under the root 2. So, then this B will be equal to, so B X is 72.72 squared plus 304.86 square. So, the resultant reaction at point B is 313.29 Newtons, right? So, this is 313.29 Newtons. So, this is the solution of this particular problem.